In Japan, a maritime airport with a value of over $25 billion is in danger of sinking, and some engineers worry that it could vanish from the face of the planet in 50 years. This story also serves as a crucial cautionary tale for China. So let's look at what happened. Despite Japan's tiny size and predominantly mountainous and steep terrain, the country's rapid economic development urgently calls for the construction of more airports. To keep up with the growth of Japan's Kansai region, Japanese engineers had to construct airports at sea. To develop the world's first sea-floating airport, Japan planned to carry out land reclamation in Osaka Bay, southwest of Osaka. The Japanese government started building Kansai International Airport on the man-made island in 1987, five years after beginning land reclamation. Two engineering construction plans comprised the project, including a 25 billion US dollar investment overall. Noriaki Okabe and Renzo Piano, two architects from Italy and Japan, created the T1 terminal building as part of the project's initial phase. In addition, a 3,500 meter long and 61 meter wide airport runway was constructed in 1994. The main body of the building is made of glass and metal, and its length has reached 1.7 kilometers. Its total area exceeds 290,000 square meters. The 1996 opening of Kansai International Airport attracted many tourists and businessmen who come to invest contributing to Kansai's positive growth. Kansai International Airport started the second phase of the expansion project. A second airport runway with a length of 4,000 meters was built, and the construction of the T2 terminal building began together. However, it is unfortunate that this airport has faced a serious risk for many years since it was built, namely the airport sinking. Kansai International Airport has helped the Japanese economy grow by more than 30 billion US dollars and provided more than 380,000 local jobs. Since the bottom still layer beneath the man-made island has an average thickness of 15 to 25 meters and the seabed silt will naturally settle, many engineers argue that Japan's decision to build the airport there was incorrect. The Kansai International Airport in Japan is a floating airport constructed on an artificial island with an average height of only 5.3 meters. According to research, the seabed silt was compressed and sank, causing the artificial island to sink by more than 30 centimeters in 20 years. Additionally, due to global warming, the rate of sea level rise is also quickening, accelerating the sea level rise rate. For this airport to be maintained, some experts predict that the ground sinking rate will approach 12 meters within 50 years, and the relative speed disparity between the airport's sinking and increasing sea level would reach 30 centimeters each year. The engineers had planned to install 906 columns and jack systems on the base of the airport when the airport was built. When the island sinks, the jack lifts the entire airport and at the same time builds a high wall around the airport to block the seawater to prevent the seawater from pouring into the airport. But as the sea level continues to rise, the high wall around Kansai International Airport is becoming increasingly ineffective. The Japanese government must continue to spend a lot of money maintaining the airport. But despite our best efforts, Sea level rise is accelerating, and some engineers in the United States still predict that Japan's Kansai International Airport will sink within the next 50 years. At the same time, this terrible disappearance also served as a friendly warning to China about what is happening in Dalian, which has developed rapidly over the past 20 years into an industrial city with a thriving tour of China, a country whose hills are many. Due to the difficulty in obtaining enough flatland for the construction of the airport to address this issue, the majority of the land has been used for urban development, or as arable area. Wait, don't be a stranger. Hit the subscribe button and join our online family. In order to create a piece of land with a size of 21 square kilometers in the sea for the construction of a sea airport, China has decided to invest 26 billion renminbi and learn from Japan's Kansai International Airport's offshore reclamation construction method. When the airport is finished and operational, it will become the largest sea airport in the world and be able to handle 70 million passengers annually. However, what is odd is that Japan's Kansai Airport is facing the following problems. When Chinese construction workers are reclaiming land, they will conduct strict surveys on the seabed and try to avoid the location of artificial islands from the sinking silt layer on the seabed. 
Additionally, China's construction uses the Tiankun for reclamation operations, which can absorb sand and crush stones on the seabed and fill the seabed to form land when filling the seabed with various cement types. Chinese engineers will work on several tasks, including tamping the ground, draining seawater, and testing the ground on the artificial island, while allowing the artificial island to be used. After determining that the artificial island won't keep sinking, Ground-level airport construction will begin, ensuring the project's safety. By 2025, China's full NC airport will have been successfully built and put into service. The construction of the Dalian Maritime Airport in China is a fantastic effort that will significantly contribute to the growth of the Dalian region and increase local employment. It can be seen that no matter how hard humans try to build a large number of infrastructures at sea, there must be great risks in the future. Possibly because maybe with the occurrence of climate change and geological disasters, the Dali and offshore airports built by China use many techniques of sand blowing to fill the sea to prevent foundation subsidence to ensure the safety of the land reclamation project, which is unprecedented in the world. If you have liked this video, I am sure you will love to watch how American scientists stunned as China constructs a thriving city in the desert within 10 years. Thanks for watching. Cheers.